Hi everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in. This is Real Talk with Coach Sherry. Oh my goodness, you guys. I did a video outside earlier that apparently I didn't press record. I'm just checking the time and I did this time. It was such a good video, I thought, because it was outside, the sun was bright, and it was just wonderful. I'm getting ready to run into the store now, but um, I just wanted to to chat with you for a moment. I have no makeup on today. I do have a little bit of lip gloss on. Um, today and tomorrow, I took off as a rest and relaxation opportunity for me to recharge my battery so that I can be better for myself, my family, and for what I do for my career because I am so burnt out right now. I am exhausted. You probably can tell from the looks of me. Um, but, you know, it's really important to take that time out for yourself and to recognize when you are reaching that burnout part, you know, that burnout time because if you don't you really will completely burn out and sizzle out and that is not what I want to do um this month has been a whirlwind I should say the month of October um you know 49 new interns started um they had to have their classroom training which consisted of customer service safety um fundamental skills and the fundamental skills training is what I is what I did with them and it was marvelous. Oh my goodness. I'm, t I'm trying to tell you, soft skills training for anyone. I mean, young, old, seasoned, executive, entry level, whatever, is so needed in the workplace. It doesn't just help you in your professional development. It also helps you with your personal development, especially with your personal development. Seven out of 10 people do not get and or keep their jobs because of their lack of soft skills. So there is a program that I instruct and it's 16 different lessons and it's everything from personal branding, communication, how to handle feedback, code switching, and so much more. I just never taught it to 49 people before and I didn't think it was going to be possible. But um, what I what happened, I'm sorry, I'm in the parking lot of the store that I'm getting ready to run into. Um, seven other trainers, well, six other trainers trained with me. And initially what we were going to do was break them into five groups of 10 with one having nine. Um, but because all of the trainers were new to the material, except for me, I am a master trainer in it. Um, you know, I didn't think that that the experience would be the same across the board with all the different trainers and we all have different styles and, you know, none of us really do training full time. So especially the new trainers that were just trained on the material, you know, and I just really wanted to make sure that everyone's experience was going to be the same. It was going to be rich. They were going to walk away with a great experience that with tools and strategies and resources that they can implement right away, utilize right away in their personal and professional live, lives. So what we did was break up the lessons. You know, um, I asked them in, in the beginning when we were doing the planning, you know, what lessons they feel most comfortable with, most aligned with, and those were the lessons that they led, but we were all there to support one another. And it was amazing. It was 32 hours worth of soft skills training and all of the participants walked away with something extraordinary. Um, more tools in their toolbox so that they can have success and receive all of the things that they are going to get in their internship experience. You know, soft skills training, and you can call it fundamental skills, essential skills, it's all the same, but it takes a lot out of the trainer. It, at least if the trainer is authentic, is compassionate when they're doing it because you're pouring so much energy and you're receiving so much energy until if you're not careful, it can really, really zap you out. <laughs> you know, hearing the stories, the challenges, the beginning, the middle, how they got where they're at, how they arrived, 
um, their challenges from possibly being homeless, sleeping in their cars, having many children that they're responsible for, eating, food, shelter, money, bills, life. <laughs> you know, all of that comes out in this training. And, you know, being the the person that they're looking towards for for assistance, for help, for resources, for a listening ear, for, you know, a shoulder. It can be a lot. It can be a lot. And I take what I do very seriously. Um, I love what I do. You know, um, I'm called Coach Sherry for many reasons. I mean, it started because I was a basketball coach many, many, many years ago. Um, but I find even helping people in their professional lives with their careers, career pathing, that's coaching. It's seeing them in the beginning being novice, you know, not knowing how to dribble, not knowing how to navigate. And you know, through practice, through coaching, they get it and they become great players, contributors, um, you know, um, just great at what they're doing, confident. That's the first thing, confident, self-aware. Those are all so important on any level. And when you are doing that for someone else, giving them that, empowering them with those types of skills, it's everything. <laughs> it really is everything. And so my journey with the interns is not over. Um, I will be evaluating at least 15 of them um, throughout their program. And I, I'm just, you know, so excited to hear about their successes along the way. And I'm here to help them navigate. I'm here to advocate for them um, so that they can be gainfully employed at the end. But um, I had to take these days for myself to re-energize myself, take care of some personal things. You know, I am a wife and a mom and, you know, there's things that I didn't want to neglect at home. I want to have that balance. So I'm not giving more one place than the other. That's really important to me. So, um, it's important to step off sometimes, you know? I notice a lot of people step off, but they don't always step off at the most convenient times. I'm just shocked. I don't know if it's because I'm an entrepreneur as well. And, you know, as an entrepreneur, when you stop working, things stop working, um, especially if you don't have it on autopilot. Now, in terms of real estate that I have, that's on autopilot. That's, you know, that's, making money when I sleep. But there are certain things that you do that deals with people and, um, you know, basically, you know, human resource type things that I just was amazed at how many people felt that they could just step off at very integral moments. Um, I'm just not wired that way. So I found a, you know, a quiet spot uh, opening and I said, I'm stepping off and that's what I'm doing today and tomorrow. But today was filled with doing things that I needed to get done um, that I had neglected because, you know, a lot of things you have to do during the day. And if I'm busy during the day, I can't get it done. So, but I'm a, you know, I was able to do that. So I'm glad. So tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, and now I also found out we have Monday is a holiday. Well, it's Veterans Day. You know, thank you to all the veterans that have served our country and protected and served. So um, we have off and my daughter is off from school. And I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm not sure if my other two that are in college are off, but uh, I'm just looking forward to this extended, extended time to myself, just my personal time. Um, not that I'm going to be by myself necessarily, but it's my time. <laughs> so I want you to remember to always take time for you to refuel, re-energize, and just to be able to jumpstart and to be able to fully engage in the things that mean the most to you, the things that matter. Um yeah today was 70 degrees it is so warm today and it's november what 7th and it's 70 degrees and it was hot and sunny i have a sweatshirt on and i'm burning up i'm burning up right now i'm sweating i mean i don't know if you could tell this shine that you see on my face is sweat mm -hmm. <laughs> at any rate you guys um it's been a pleasure for me to share with you what i've been up to 
this past month. I know I've been, you know, vlogging a little bit of it as as I was going through it, but I just wanted to recap. I mean, yesterday I met with the other six trainers. I called a meeting because I wanted to do a debrief of the you know, fundamental skills training that we did and go over the final evaluations that the interns did on the on the program. And I mean, their evaluations blew me away. I if they blew me away, just the things that they said, how how um instrumental the skills that we taught them were for them. You know, it's game changer. It's a game changer. And I'm just proud of them and I and I look forward to seeing them continue to grow in whatever career path they choose. But this is just the start. They got their foot in the door, so that's great. But all the other trainers felt the same way. I mean, it was a great way to end the day. I purposefully scheduled the meeting towards the end of the day so that I could share with them the evaluations. And oh my goodness, you guys, maybe one day I'll read them to you as well to make your day too. But until we speak again, this has been Real Talk with Coach Sherry. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Also, you know, hit the notification bell so that you could be notified when I make and create other videos on workforce development, resume writing, career readiness, all of that. Um, and if you see this to be a nugget that someone in your circle needs, please be sure to share. Thank you so, so much for tuning in and I look forward to speaking to you again. Until next time, stay safe.